Hi folks. <laughs> Hope everyone's week went well and that you're having a great weekend. Um, we, it is sprinkling right now. We just had a huge storm pass through and I think we're still not out of it yet because I still hear thunder. So apologies if that comes through. Uh, you can see everything is laid down in the garden behind me. Yep. <laughs> but today's video, I wanted to focus on um, aphids and other kind of pests that you can control pretty easily if you get to them early enough. Um, I don't know about you all, but I have a ton of bees right now visiting my plants. So I want to make sure that I'm using the least toxic um, pesticide available, if you can even call it that. So what I usually do is while the pests are uh, little enough and also few enough in number, I like to hit them with my homemade soap spray and I'm getting, I'm getting rained on so I'm going to move under the porch here. Um, so I like to make my homemade soap spray and it's actually pretty simple. Um, what I usually do is take a squirt bottle that you get from the hardware store and start filling it up with um, cold water, don't use hot water, and just squirt some soap in there. I don't really measure it. I would say probably a couple tablespoons. I don't know. Watch in a few seconds. I'll show you exactly how I make it. I don't measure. Basically what you're trying to do is make a soap solution to cover the critters spiracles and what that is is that the insects have little holes on their sides and that's how they breathe. The soap covers over those holes and um, makes it so that they're unable to get air in and out. They, they can't respirate and so eventually they die and this works for a lot of soft bodied insects like aphids and black flies on tomatoes. I've used it on that. Um, I had several different types of aphids on my bee balm just behind me there. Actually, that is the bee balm that I spray in this video. And I went back the next day just to be sure that they were all dead and none of them were moving. So I just sort of wiped them right off. That's what you're going for. You just want them to stop feeding and you want to do it as soon as you can because the longer you leave them on there without uh, treatment, um, the more opportunity they have to replicate and enlarge their population. And these already had ants farming them. So if you see a lot of ants just very quickly moving up and down the stems, check really carefully for aphids because it's likely that you have them. Ants like to farm the aphids for their poop. Uh, their poop is called honeydew and it's like a sugary, sweet, just substance. It looks like sugar water coming out of their butts and the ants will force them to eat so that they can get the honeydew and take it back to their uh, nest. So if you see ants going crazy, it could be a sign that you have aphids.
So there you have it, a really quick and easy way to treat aphids on just about any plant. Try not to do it on a really hot day. You can burn the foliage. I would recommend doing it in the evening just before sunset so that the plant has a chance to kind of counteract all the soapy stuff will dry off and the aphids will die overnight. You can check them in the morning to be sure everything's okay, but I don't recommend doing the treatment on a really hot day um, and I don't recommend doing it uh, in the morning if you're gonna have a particularly sunny day. It's okay to do it on a cloudy day, but not on a sunny, hot day because you can damage the plant that way. And that's true for most insecticides, anything that you're using. This is the safest thing that I can recommend. All it is is dish soap and I use the, the stuff with no fragrance in it or anything. It's the safest thing you can get. So uh, I wish you all the best in your gardens. I hope you don't have any aphid problems right now and if you do, now you know what to do. I'll catch you outside.